Hey, check this out. See this mansion right here? We got this big old mansion with a big old pool in the backyard. Look at this bad boy. I'm going to show you how to run this as an Airbnb, and it's only going to cost you 200 k Doesn't matter where you live. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise. This is Holton Wise TV, and this is a mansion, y'all. This is a mansion, and I'm going to show my client, Jeff, the California investor, how we are going to take this mansion and turn it into an Airbnb or a short-term rental, right? Airbnb, VRBO, all those sites, Travelocity, Turnkey, whatever site you're using, we use them all. I'm going to show you how we're going to do this for you, brother. We're going to turn this in to a short-term rental. It's only going to cost you 200 k Now, I know you're out there in California. How much would a massive mansion like this cost you in California, Jeff? Everybody else who's watching this show when it goes live on Holton Wise TV, tell me. Tell me how much a mansion that looks like this would cost in your market, right? Tell me what your market is. Let me know how much a mansion like this is going to cost you. But if you want to know how much it's going to cost my man Jeff in my market, the market where my team works to handle all the on-the-ground work for him, Stay tuned after this. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh, my, Steve. Take me now. Holton Wise. Real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back. Let's get into the numbers on this mansion, right? Because this is a cool mansion, but like we're monetary investors, right? We don't really care how cool it is. We're not going to live there, right? We need this thing to make money. Don't matter how refreshing that pool might be, right? You ain't swimming in it. Well, I mean, I guess you could when you come on vacation, but it's got to make money, right? That's what we're here for, right? If you're trying to just buy cool houses, you ain't watching Holton Wise TV. You're watching Holton Wise TV to get your money right, okay? So let's talk numbers. Let's talk facts. 10292 Forestwood Lane, North Royalton, 44133. Listed at 499 and a half, just under half a million dollars. Been on the market six days. 129.98 a square foot, right? I know all you people out there, especially people trying to build houses. Holy shit, right? You can't get a fucking house for 129.98 a square foot. That's what's great about Ohio, right? Our prices are cheap. And this is obviously in a luxury neighborhood, right? This is an A-grade neighborhood. For those of you who don't know what I mean when I say A-grade neighborhood, go to holdenwise.com, click the Tools and Resources tab, check the Ultimate Guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods. Guess what? I'm a nice guy. I also put it in the link of the show notes below, right? I graded every neighborhood in the Cleveland market on A to F scale. A, low risk. Rich people live there. F, high risk. Poor people live there. It's fucking expensive. More expensive to live where the rich people live than it is to live where the poor people live. I think we all understand that, right? Is A better than F? I don't know. It depends what you want to do, right? Depends what your plan is. Myself, I've sold over $200 million worth of real estate, and I make the most money in the C and D grade neighborhoods. I rent low-income Section 8 housing on a long-term basis. What I sure as shit don't do is rent C and D grade properties as short-term rentals with VRBO and Airbnb. That's crazy. That's too risky. Don't make sense, right? So my opinion, if you're going in the short-term rentals, stick with mansions. Stick in the luxury areas because when you're here in Ohio, you can get into our luxury areas for a fraction of the price of where you would normally live. If you want to go long-term tenants, I think the cash flow makes the most sense in the C and D grade neighborhoods. So if you're interested in that, check out some of our other content. But what we have here is just a huge mansion. It's got a pool. It's massive. Huge Huge, huge mansion, but it's outdated, so we're going to have to spend a little bit of money fixing it up. But look at this, dude. This is your money shot, right? Look at all this. Like People are going to see this, especially when we freshen it up. doesn't look like it's from the 80s. Huge gathering space, the great room, the living room, massive 
two story like th it's like breathtaking right it's not as breathtaking because it's from the friggin 80s at the moment but when we put a little money into that it's gonna be awesome and this thing is huge right what can we do with something this big we could sleep a lot of people right what am i looking at here this is obviously the homeowner's office. Guess what? It's not going to fucking be when you buy it. It's not going to be a fucking office. It's going to be a goddamn bedroom. Why? Because the more beds we get in there, that means the more guests we can sleep. The more guests we can sleep, the more money we make, right? We are having a premium rental experience for these people, premium vacation experience. That's going to deliver us a premium price, right? We're going to be shooting. We're going to be shooting for $750 a month. If you rented that every single night of the month, it'd be $23,250 a month. It'd be $279,000 a year. I told you we could do this deal for only two hundred k. Can you imagine making $279,000 every year for a $200,000 investment? Well, you fucking should, because that's not going to goddamn happen, people. Don't be fucking crazy. What the fuck you think this is? I'm not some crazy guru. No, you don't get to spend 200 k and then make 279 k a year. That doesn't make any goddamn sense. No, 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 no. We have to factor in the cost to operate this thing. You don't get to just operate it, right? The cost to operate it, folks, we got 38% of vacancy. We ain't going to have butts in the property every night. It's not how it works, okay? So we got to factor that in. So that's 8800 right? It's got to come off that monthly uh, monthly estimate there, right? We got Airbnbs taking their cut. We got cleaning, repairs, and maintenance, right? My team will do all that, but we ain't going to do it for free, right? That sweet-ass pool, well, that motherfucker ain't free either, right? 125 there. You got your taxes, insurance, utilities, lawn care, HOA. The HOA is ridiculously cheap here. This HOA is actually pretty sweet. It's only 100 bucks a year. Uh, there's a couple different kinds of HOAs out there, folks. You got your... Like, you see them in, like, the newer developments, like the super new developments that have all been built in the last, like, 5, 10 years. Those HOAs are, like, really involved, and uh, the HOA fees are higher. Sometimes they'll do landscaping in there. You know, just, like, there's a lot of regulations, man. Like, I just I just ran through one uh, for this property in Broadview Heights, dude. It was 90 pages, right? Uh, I already reviewed the HOA for this property. Uh, this one was only 14 pages. No rental restrictions, so you don't have to worry about that. Basically, all the HOA is really for is people are chipping in to make the entrance way into the development look nice, right? And then you got your PM fees, $1,000 flat fee. Holton Weiss charges $1,000 for all short-term rentals, right? So that $23,250 is actually, in real world, it should actually be about ten and a half or $125K for the year. Now, as far as that $200,000 price point, how did I get that? How did I get the $200,000 price point when this thing is on the market at four ninety nine five hundred? dollars and I'm showing you that I want to do some renos, right? Let's cruise through some more of the photos, right? Just more of the same. Everything is huge. Everything is nice, but it's like straight out of the 80s, Okay. Like, it's all good. Like, when people say, oh, this house has good bones. Like, this is what they mean. But, like, none of this stuff appeals to anybody, right? And then the basement, we're not going to touch the basement. The basement looks great, though, right? Look how huge the space is. We'll probably throw some beds down there because we're going to sleep a lot of people. Big old three-car garage. Then then more of the backyard, the pool, right? Super sweet. All right. So, floor, $99,500, okay? But it's dated. I'm talking about doing repairs, okay? I'm telling you you could get this investment. For only 200k, right? Here's what's gonna go down. As far as price goes, we'll try to get a little discount. Not a freaking <laughs> uh, what would that be? $300,000 discount? No, no, no. We're gonna try to pick it up at 490. All right, at 490. Then I want to do about 50 grand worth of reno. Now that's not like crazy uh, tearing down walls or anything of that nature. That's straight cosmetic work, dude. It's a big old house, repainting, replacing carpet upgrading baths and kitchens not all the baths there's like four of them right but you give them one banger of a bath maybe two make the kitchen look amazing that kitchen great room combo with the two-story living room and like the the lofty area that's gotta be breathtaking right so we're gonna drop 50k bringing this thing into 2021 right then we're gonna drop another 35k on furnishings right we got to put a lot of beds in there to get that high price point, right? We're trying to get $750 a night here. We got to get a bunch of beds in there, really nice couches, flat screen TVs need to be everywhere, right? Living room, probably in the basement, all the sleeping areas, right? The actual bedrooms and the rooms we've turned into bedrooms, right? So 85 Gs is what we're going to be putting in to this bad boy, right? 85 Gs. So 
You are going to be able to get a loan for 367500 though, right? 367500 right? So between your down payment and the 85 Gs I want you to spend on cosmetic upgrades and furnishings, that's where you get your 202500 And then factoring in all of the actual expenses, right? Because you're batshit crazy if you think you get to just rent one of these for that $750 a night every night of the year and you don't have costs, right? That don't make no damn sense. So after you factor in what the expenses should be, you're looking at, and in addition to that mortgage, you're looking at a net cash flow after that mortgage of 106000 670 for the year, right? So that's a 53% return on your money if it all works out that way, right? So you're committing to 575, but 367 of that is all credit, 30 year fixed interest, low interest, right? So you're going to need 202,000 cash up front to get this done. And then obviously you're going to need the credit and income to carry the mortgage. But that, that is why people come to Ohio. And if you're wondering where I got the occupancy rate and stuff from, directly from the big tech firms that is for our market, right? It'd be batshit crazy if I gave you the numbers uh, for like Airbnb historically across the U.S., right? That's that's crazy. No, no, no. I did it in the county that this A-grade city is located in. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.